So please uh, give a warm welcome to Randy Ubilos, the Chief Architecture of Video Applications at Apple. Randy. Thanks, Phil. Thanks. Good morning. Very excited to be out here and get to show you all the cool new features in iMovie 09. So let's jump right in. I'm going to start out showing you some editing. So just like iMovie 08, we've got the great skimming that allows me to look through my content. I'm just going to go ahead and select a bit of this and just drag it up to my project. That'll add that in. We've got another shot here. And it'd be really nice to insert this in the middle of this clip. All I have to do with iMovie 09 is let go, and up pops this new menu. And because I have the advanced mode turned on in preferences, I get even more choices than what Phil showed before. I get things like cutaway, picture-in-picture, -picture, green screen that are available to me. But we're going to go ahead and do an insert. And so once I do the insert there, the clip gets dropped in right at the spot where I let go. I can play that back. And you see we have a nice cut over to the, that shot. Let's take a look at a clip down here. That's a great dialogue shot. And that, the sound there would be really nice to put in underneath the video that we were just looking at. So I'm just going to skim along here and just select it. I'm sure going to miss this place. Never forget it. Skimming makes it really easy to find exactly that piece of audio. I'll take this up and I'll drop it up here. And this time, what I'm going to choose is audio only. And what that's going to do is just place the audio in underneath the video. <laughs> and let's go ahead and play that back. So really easy to, to do that kind of mixture of audio and video. Let's go ahead and take, I've got a clip down here, one of the kids jumping in the lake. Kind of fun. Let's go ahead and select a piece of that. And we'll drag that up into the project. And we have another shot here that was taken a little while later where he kind of jumps in again. So I'll go ahead and select that one. And I'm going to drag that up in here. And let's take a look at that. So those are, some, those are some nice clips, but we could make that look a lot better if we tightened up the action. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the new action pop-up, and I'm going to choose the precision editor. When I do that, what drops down is a magnified view of the edit that we're working on. And what you see here is everything on the upper line is all of the material to the left of the edit, and everything on the lower line is everything to the right of the edit. And I can skim back and forth and actually see the edit happen. But I can also skim on this clip, and I can see the content before and after the edit on the clip on the left. And I can do the same thing on the clip on the right. So I can see all the different material that could be used for this edit. And everything you see here is interactive. I can grab this clip and move it back and forth. I can grab this clip and move it back and forth and adjust the edit any way that I'd like. Another really cool thing that I can do is I can actually come in here and just pick a spot and just click. And when I click, that point will slide over, and that becomes the point where the edit takes place in that clip. Let's come down to this clip here, and I'll pick a corresponding spot here where he goes in the water, and we'll click, and now let's take a look at the edit. So we've got this nice kind of shift in the angle. Now, very, very easy. So if we just take a listen here now to the audio, notice the audio shifts there because the the audio is cutting at the same point the video does. And so because of the change in the angle, it sounds different. We can take care of that by just selecting the audio button here. And now I can actually see my audio track separately here. And I can actually go in and I can adjust this separately by dragging it. So now what I've done is I've made the audio on the first clip extend beyond the uh, edit point. So let's go ahead and play that back. So we just get a nice clean piece of audio from the clip on the left. So as you can see, this is a really complex edit. In a pro tool, this would take a lot more steps. And we've done it in a nice, really interactive, visual way. Next thing I want to show, I want to switch to a different project. So the way I'll do that is I'll click and go to my new project library. The project library now shows you these great little film strips of each of your projects. So it makes it really easy to find. I'm going to switch over to this project of an African safari. This is actually some footage that I shot about a year ago on a trip to Africa. And I'll switch over to the corresponding event. Let's go ahead and take a look at this clip down here. This was shot in the back of a Jeep that was bouncing along. And 
the footage probably wouldn't be something that you'd actually use because there's just too much motion in it. One of the really cool new features we have is video stabilization. Now this pro stabilization is done in a two-step process. The first step, the iMovie goes through and analyzes each frame of your video and compares it to the one before and one after and figures out what all the motion is. That takes some time, but it can be done on an entire event all at once. And once that's been done, as it has for this event here, all I have to do is select the segment of the video that I want and just drag it up here into my project. And when we play it back now, the stabilization's been applied and it almost looks like the car was floating along there. Um, so you can see a huge difference. Now, I have another clip down here, and this one we were kind of chasing some gazelle in a Jeep, and it's almost hard to see the gazelle in there because the Jeep is bouncing around so much. If I just go ahead and take that clip, select it, and then drag it up here into my timeline, and now when I play it back, now the gazelle pop out because it's been stabilized so much. And you notice... All I had to do was just drag that in and the stabilization takes place. Let's take a look at another clip down here. We've got this great shot of this leopard coming down out of the tree, but it goes by so fast. It'd be really cool if we could slow that down. So let's go ahead, we'll select this, and I'm just gonna drag this up here into my project. And now from the action menu, I'm gonna choose clip adjustments. This brings up my inspector and allows me to adjust things. So we've got a nice slider here for speed. If I drag it to the right, the clip will go faster drag it to the left, the clip will go slower. We'll go ahead and do that, and let's just play that back. You'll notice it's now at half speed, no rendering, no waiting, takes place immediately. Another cool feature we have here is we have video effects. So we've got some great effects that you can do, and all I have to do is skim back and forth across the thumbnail, and I can see what it looks like. We've got some really cool effects like cartoon, we've got a nice vignette, we've even got an x-ray effect. One that a lot of people like is aged film. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And so now if I play this back, this clip's been stabilized, slowed down, and the aged film has been added. No rendering, all done in real time. It's gonna make it really easy to enhance your movies. So we've added a number of other elements for enhancing your movies. Over here on my Maps and Backgrounds panel, you can see we have four different styles of map, and we have flat and globe maps. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a flat education map, drag it up into my project, and now all I have to do is set the starting and ending location. We actually did start in San Francisco, which is the default, but the trip was actually to Botswana. So I'm just gonna type in a couple of letters. The list is filtered down, I select Botswana, and I can actually change what I want the name on the map to be. So I'll just type in Safari, and then when we go ahead and play this back, you get this really cool animated map from one location to another. I can even just take one of the other styles and drag it on top of this one. When I let go, it remembers the starting and ending location. Let's take a look at this one. We get this really cool animated map, and you can even stack these together if you went from through multiple cities along the way. So some really cool maps that we have now. We have some other elements. We have some new transitions. We have a whole bunch of new animated titles that are really cool. The thing I'm gonna show you now is our themes. So with the themes, we have five themes, and I can skim across to get a look at what they, how they look. We have things like comic book and scrapbook, film strip. I'm gonna go ahead and pick photo album. And when I select this, what iMovie's gonna do is it's gonna go in and it's gonna add some titles and transitions. It's gonna go ahead and, and put a title at the beginning and it's gonna use the name of our project automatically. It's gonna put in some cool transitions in here. It's gonna mix those with cross dissolves and it's even down at the end gonna put an ending slide in and it's gonna use the name from the address book on this machine. This is Phil's machine so it's picked up his name automatically. So let's go ahead and switch over to full screen and take a look at what that looks like. So you can see how nice and professional those look. So 
super easy to create really great looking movies. This is actually just a subset of all the new features in iMovie 09. I encourage you to go down to the booth or go to apple.com to check out the full set of features. Thanks very much.